a Cards with Michael production. What's up, YouTube? Cards with Michael here. Today we're opening a Jumpstart Booster Box, sponsored kindly and generously by Mike Mythic. Hopefully we get some Mythics today. Um, in this video, we'll be opening this, looking at the contents, pricing everything out using TCG Player low prices, and also talking about the impending reprint. Jumpstart is getting reprinted, friends. Um, you'll see more and more stocks start showing up to all your local stores. And I'll talk about kind of how that's going out, um, how much we should be expecting, and kind of just what's been going on with Jumpstart in the last couple of weeks. All right, let's get to it. Here we are, Jumpstart. So these booster boxes have the same number of packs that Commander Legends has, uh, 24, and in the same kind of aspect too, 20 booster box, uh, sorry, 20 carded um, packs. So, you know, in many ways, it's kind of cool that the reprint has finally hit and we have now gotten enough packs and boxes to finally get these to a real price. Now, Target, Walmarts have been offering um, these Jumpstart bundles, um, four pack bundles for about $20 for a while now, or was it like $22 or whatever? So sometimes somewhere in the $5, $5.50 range, but boxes at one point were $170 on TCG Play. Today, as we're right uh, doing this video, they have reached a little bit of an equilibrium at $128. And believe me, we should be expecting these to be dropping even more over the next couple of weeks. And that is actually a great thing, friends. Let's get to opening and we'll keep talking. So, Jumpstart at first was, of course, a very, very short printed product. Ooh, discarding. All right, there's a chance. There's a chance we can get the very, very cute little guy named Tiny Bones. Um, let's see if we let's see if we get it. Here we go. All right, discarding. All right, here we are. And yes, Bing! Look at that, a Tiny Bones, one of the cutest cards. Look at that. Really excited to start off with the Tiny Bones, and of course the rest of the Tiny Bones deck. All right, nothing too fancy. Thriving more is nice. And of course, the swamp. All right, let's put these cards away. Go ahead, sleeve up the tiny bones. Um, tiny bones, of course, the hollow is a little out of there. <laughs> it's a little, I don't know. I wouldn't even consider that off center. There's so many other print issues that we've seen in Jumpstart. That's, that's just not even a, a thing. All right, let's go on to the next pack. So uh, yeah, Jumpstart at first started as a very, very short printed product. You, could, you just couldn't get your hands on it. Ooh, now we have minions. Um, but now, um, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, what happened was uh, the price of these was 170 still. Even all the, ooh, Frexian Tower, that's a good one too. A lot of bangers in here. Um, up until a couple of weeks ago, these were still 170 because they were not reprinted. Another thriving more. And here's the minions swamp. But what happened was um, somehow stores started getting their initial wave of these uh, boxes. And what I was told with that initial wave is it really was to help all those stores that originally pre-ordered 70, 60, 80, 90, whatever, and never got to fulfill their pre-orders. That first wave was to kind of fill those, okay? And that happened about, I want to say, a couple weeks ago. Um, it varies based off your region. It varies based off double vision. All right, womp womp. That's not a really solid one, although there's a living lightning in here. But uh, around that time, around that time, ooh, the mountain, right? um, we started noticing that prices were dropping. And I think what happened was some stores, they had pre-orders in, but those pre-orders got canceled and they didn't have to uphold those original prices. And they went to TCG Player and then there was kind of like a, you know, a race to the bottom. And uh, these kind of, ooh, ooh, elves, yes. All right, elves has one of the more expensive, actually a lot of the uh, cart hits are on the elves. So let's see, is there an Allosaurus Shepherd? Yes, Mike Mythic. Oh, we got the tiny bones. We got the Allosaurus Shepherd. 
you can see why these boxes are worth $170. Um, I love the art on this, by the way. Nguyen's Elite. Um, so anyways, quickly, the boxes are dropping in price. Um, and here's the Elves Forest. And um, before you know it, we kind of got into the 138 range. However, starting this week, stores are now going to get access to more Jumpstart. And when I'm talking about more, I'm saying like some stores are getting a few cases, some stores are getting multiple cases, and some stores are getting pallets. So um, at first, I didn't think this would be a huge deal. I didn't think there would be a lot of stores getting a lot of Jumpstart, but uh, you know, more and more of my stores are reporting back to me, hey, we're gonna get some Jumpstart. Do you want any, Michael? And I'm like, yeah, of course, we love Jumpstart. Now Jumpstart, of course, was a set, Cathar's Crusaders are rare here in this pack, this heavily armored pack, um, that uh, we, you know, Leslie and I really enjoyed opening and uh, we had a good time. Um, but it was just such a pain to find them. Boxes were so expensive. And of course we could find the, the four pack blisters at Target and Walmart and people were opening those. And, and, and you know, Jumpstart's actually a fun set because it's not just a set that we can play with. But there's a hidden lottery in Jumpstart, and I don't know if some of you guys have experienced some of these. Um, but uh, oh, I, I still have one of the last cards left from this. So I recently was uh, was privileged of being able to help um, a fellow patron and fellow watcher of the channel auction some of these. Now here you can't really see uh, what I'm trying to show, but uh, <laughs> this is actually a misprinted card. Can you guys see? It says choose one. So this is actually crushing, um, I should have forgot the name of this card, but a lot of Jumpstart cards have these misprints. And um, Jumpstart is actually a hidden lottery in the sense that you can get cards with these misprints, these misinks, these miscuts, and uh, they're worth a lot in the secondary market. We have a Hamlet Goliath. Um, that one pack uh, of um, that had this card, had all these lands, these islands that had the four symbol printed on them, and uh, it auctioned for the whole pack individually. It auctioned for almost six hundred dollars. That one pack. So that's why I like to call a Jumpstart an actual hidden lottery or a secret lottery. Now, if you do happen to get a booster pack where it's just like all these misprinted lands, the dirtier the misprints, the more like cool or just like crazy the misprints the more valuable it might be especially if the lands show a different land on it johnny's chosen celestial mental nice we got a double rare and uh you know maybe one day we'll be able to open one of these live but ooh, this ah this place is so pretty this is enchanted right yeah it's enchanted but you know if not that's okay um but I'm, that's what i'm telling you guys that there is kind of that hidden lottery to jump start um, and for the, oh, Minotaurs, oh no. Ah, so much PTSD from that one. All right, so I think, uh, you know, I think that's kind of all I wanted to say. Basically, you guys, get ready for a lot more of these. Rage Blood Shaman and a Saffron Herloon General. Of course, this guy is the beat stick and a very, very cool art as well. Now, where are we at? We're, we're still opening this box, of course, the land. Um, I'm oh yeah my thoughts on this so yeah you know I just wanted to first report to you what I see the boots on the ground um the uh <laughs> the the so the so to speak update that you might not have heard from other people um but ooh, tree hugging right we've seen a lot of those Joel rail monvaldi recluse but how do I feel about this guys I feel ecstatic like you know, like, I think that this product should have been a product that was already priced, um, like, you know, let's say a hundred bucks per box. Reasonably, right? I thought that that's what these should have been, like, from the get-go. And I think what we're going to see is they're going to eventually kind of get to that hundred range. I think maybe 110 is, like, the sweet spot because, uh, you know, shipping. Um, and yes, the Gale Force. All right. Love it. Um, and I think it's a really good thing because this set was designed to be played. It was it was designed to have fun. It was designed for you know people to enjoy and 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 um, learn and and just you know during pandemic times just kind of pack two packs and just play. Like 
I am really, really happy that finally Wizards has kind of gotten around to reprinting this. This is like literally one of the fewest happy things that I've, you know, really, really feel good about all year, really. Um, was this set just kind of getting reprinted? And I think, you know, there's a lot of people who might be upset. Maybe they were investing in Jumpstart, maybe, you know, for whatever reason. Um, and I think that's, I think you guys have a right to be upset um, about something like this. But, you know, on a reality check level, we have to understand that um, no sealed product while it's in print will ever be guaranteed to not be printed again. So it's kind of like a, a risky game holding on to sealed product that's new, thinking that it'll go up. Because usually, you know, stuff like this will happen. Now, during pandemic times, it's been, you know, it's been exceedingly rare that we see a reprint like this happen. And you know, I've heard no official announcement that there's been a reprint. But unless, you know, distributors have really, really been mean and naughty and really holding on to goods for like, gosh, it's been five months, I think, since the release of Jumpstart. Um, I have to imagine that there's been a reprint. These are fresh boosters kind of hitting the market again. And, um, you know, you guys... You should get some, you should play some with your loved ones during the holiday season. Oh yeah, that's a, that's the other thing that I'm a little bummed about. These didn't make it to us by the holiday, holiday season. In fact, a lot of my, well, this, this, this is like, I don't know. I don't think it's off enough to, to really command a premium, but it's, it's going to be tough for uh jumpstart to get to most people by even like the new year's because, um, like from what I'm hearing, jumpstart boxes are kind of inbound this week to distributors so arriving next week so next week is really when we should start expecting prices to kind of do that wayward fall when uh, a new you know reprint hits and it, you know the weird thing to me is um at this point in the ooh, i like this this planes this legion planes at this point during the life cycle of a product like this i'm really surprised that wizards just doesn't give everyone a heads up like guys Jumpstart's gonna be reprinted. Yeah, go to your local store, pre-order some Jumpstart. Like, I don't know how stores do this, um, but oh, another discarding. Can we get two Tiny Bones in the same box? Oh man, I'm excited. I I'm actually really excited to see if we break, oh no. Oh no, no, no uh, Tiny Bones in that booster. I'm really excited to see if we can actually uh, break even, you know? Um, now, given that there's a reprint, I do expect these prices to drop. But we'll use today's TCG low listed prices for Jumpstart um, to get an idea of what's going on. And I think that's fair uh, with that caveat. So if by the time you watch this, it's like two weeks later from this Corsair Captain, of course, is a very in-demand pirate lord. Uh, and you're like, no, Michael, your prices are all off. Like, you know, everything's like so much more expensive. You're listing and you're like, yeah, you know, you're inflating the value of the box just to make us all feel like I already use TCG player low, which, um, you know, not, not every single YouTuber, a lot of YouTubers use TCG mid or market. I like using low. I like keeping our expectations of prices, um, realistic, so to speak, because you know, most of the time you could pay TCG player low, maybe plus tax and you'll get the card. It's, it's really not that hard. Um, a lot of people are savvy TCG player. Uh, purchasers you you kind of you know look around for good deals you combine shipping um, you know like you guys can figure it out now I think I like also kind of reporting prices that are a little bit lower because I also want people to have realistic expectations ghost call ghoul color Gisa nice Gisa Jezza I don't know how to pronounce that it's another mythic though and here is the swamp from minions again all right all right here we go few more packs left we already got the shepherd and we got the tiny bone so i'd say we're doing really 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 well um i don't even know that i guess a uh, crater hooth would be nice speak of the heavens okay bright mare and the healing planes all right or dr planes four more pack of runes left Let's see what else we got here. Um, I am curious how these do stabilize though, because I imagine that once these have been reprinted like this, once, now this, the hell stamp gets more and more to the right. Uh, I don't imagine they'll reprint it again for a bit. So I do expect prices to kind of, you know, dip initially, 
as people start buying them up again um they go up and especially if the ev is high like look this box we already know we opened an allosaurus which i think at this time is worth in the 65 ish range and the tiny bones are kind of in the 28th range that's already 80 bucks everything else added together can we even get to the like sweet spot like the 110 120 130 veto likely i think you know little cards like blood artists that are worth a couple bucks it, it, it definitely gets us there and also these special swaps and uh, sorry basic lands are very popular as well so it doesn't take too much it really doesn't take too much all right two more packs left curious how we end also let me know your thoughts guys like i want to know um how you feel about the jump starts uh maybe i'm wrong it's not a reprint but a resurfacing of supply um how do you guys feel about it did you guys enjoy this set will you be purchasing more of this set at what price points do you feel comfortable of course lowest is best but you know sometimes you got to be realistic some of your stores need to make some money on retail shipping is always a factor tax 110 120 what's reasonable 80 bucks or bust you know like there's a lot of different perspectives and personalities and i'd love to hear you guys and we also get an exquisite blood all right and a sangramancer all right so i think we did pretty well all right and this is of course the vampire basic so we got two vampires now what we'll do is we'll put the prices of everything on tcg player low add it together all the cards a dollar or more and guys i had a great time opening this we'll be doing some more jump start as we get that next reprint wave um if you like this type of content leave me a thumbs up Big shout out to Mike Mythic again for sponsoring the video, and I will see you on the next one.